Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get DaVinci Resolve. So basically how to download and install DaVinci Resolve. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So when I'm here in Google, I'm actually going to type DaVinci Resolve, of course. There we go. Then we're going to go to the first site right here. Now, do make sure that this is blackmagicdesign.com. So make sure you're on the official website here. And here, if you scroll down, you can see right here DaVinci Resolve free download now. So I'm going to click on that. Now, as you can see, then two versions will show. And so basically, this one on the left right here is the one you want to get because this is the free one. Now, if you see DaVinci Resolve Studio right here, it's the paid version. It's around $300 and basically gives you more advanced settings. But you have more than enough, especially if you're doing some more general editing. It has like 90% already right here in the free version. So that's of course what we're going to go for. And as you can see, you can choose between Mac, Linux and two Windows versions here. Now I have Windows, but to actually know which one to choose. I mean, generally, most people will definitely go for Windows x86 right here. Since Windows RIM is more for specific PCs who are compatible with that. A bit more low end. You, for example, find it back in tablets as well and phones at times. So that's only for exceptions. Really, most of you want to go just for Windows x86 right here. So I'm going to click it. Now this actually sends you to some form. I can actually enter some details here, some information, but that's up to you, of course, to fill in right here and once you're done you want to click register and download it gives you this message and it'll actually start downloading up here in the right corner as you can see it's like three gigabyte right now so it might take some time it's a pretty big file and so basically at this point just wait for it until it's done and as you can see right here when it finishes it goes up here so then here you can actually click show in folder and then of course it should go to your downloads and so what we're going to do here as you can see it's a compressed zip file so we're just going to right click I'm actually going to go extract all here there you go just click extract if you want it to be here this might also load for a little time because once again it's a big file okay so we can actually close this right here we simply just have to click and as you can see we have the setup inside windows asks you permission to change the app click yes now as we see here we have some components now if there's specific ones you don't want for some reason you can uncheck them right here otherwise you can leave them checked click install and see it will start right here, here you can click next the license agreement just click accept here next now here you can actually change it i do advise you to leave it like this probably to your c program files and then create its own black magic design folder you can change that right here if you would click on it but once again i do advise you to keep it like this preferably on your c disk then we do next so you can click install once again okay and there you go now it might sometimes pop up an error during the installation part you just have to click OK in that case. And if it asks you to do a public network as well, you can also just refuse that. Just use your own private network. You don't have to do public network because you're probably not using one. It's also something that I wanted to mention. If you need the README right here, you can actually click this and show it immediately if you need some additional help. But we're just going to click finish here. There you go. This means it's complete. It also created a desktop shortcut here. So you can immediately just right click on it. Do, for example, show more options and say pin it to start or pin it to taskbar. So that you immediately have it right here, down here as well, if you want to. And in case if it didn't make a desktop shortcut or you can't find it, go to search. Of course, simply type DaVinci and it should pop up here or some other apps and folders right here. So you have to check which one it is, but the application should definitely show up first. You can also consider to restart your PC first right now to really see if you're running into any problems, but normally it won't be necessary, but you can consider that. Then of course we're going to click on it. So here it shows you what's new. Up here is the language. Now we'll do English and then can click continue. So if you're new, you're going to see this message right here. And you can do the setup. So you click quick setup or underneath if you prefer to do things yourself, you can do skip and start right now. Here you can just click on continue. Here choose the quality. I would generally go for HD, but maybe you want to go for example for ultra HD, but that's up to you. Here very important is where your media is stored. So if you really want to change something here, click the magnifying glass and make sure you actually browse where you would actually want it to be saved. But that is of course for the project media. So keep that in mind. Now this one is a bit more specific, but it's pretty nice that they integrated it. It's basically, if you're familiar with another keyboard layout, you can select that one. So if you, for example, used to use Premiere Pro, then you can select that one because it will have a similar layout if you had that editing software in the past. But of course, otherwise just click DaVinci Resolve itself. So then as you can see, the setup should be complete because I've already have DaVinci Resolve in the past. It says just that I'm ready to start here. So I'm just going to click start and it'll start launching as you can see. And here, as I said, because I've had it in the past, I have my own folders right here. So now, of course, I can also be ready to do an untitled project, do a new one, open one. So I will be ready to go here. Now, if by the way, you want to know how to use DaVinci Resolve. So actually more of a beginner tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. There's an upcoming video here up in the right corner. If it's already out, you can check it out. It actually shows you a beginner tutorial on DaVinci. Where so the essentials and basically go over the software itself. So if that's something you want to check out, if you feel like you need that, the tutorial is up here if you want in the right corner. But in any case, guys, there you go. That's how you get to DaVinci Resolve in 2025. Please, if you like, it would be really nice. Subscribe to us, really nice. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.